Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to part two of uh, the introduction into drawing superheroes. And um, first things first, uh, make sure you smash the like. If you watch this video, please do my channel a favor and at least hit the like button if you've been watching my videos. I don't say that a lot in the videos, but it is really important to my channel and it does actually help out quite a bit. And since I devote quite a bit of time to the channel, help me out, do me a solid. All right, so anyway, um, my camera was dead when I actually went to shoot this video this morning, so I had like a very small window to actually draw um, and then also shoot the video, and so it put me in a weird spot. So what I did is I just spent a half hour and kind of started the lesson, and then I, it'll just move along quicker. So quick, quick overview. I will draw this part though. Just so, so our three basic shapes that we're going to work with, and again, do not get bored with this stuff because I'm going to show you how quickly. Um, you can apply this stuff and really get some very cool effects. So you've got your sphere. All right, it looks like a circle, but you know, it has form. And so I'm gonna show you what I did here really quick. So when you draw your circles, make sure that you're thinking of it like this. And in fact, I would tell you that if you don't do this on circles that you draw, you're really missing out on, on a very, very important um, uh, kind of like subtle cue that in your mind you're feeling this all the time. You're feeling this sense of form. So I'll show you a couple of these really quick. So what it is is if if you were going to draw a circle around this or, or like an ellipse around this sphere, you're going to have the this is the front plane. This is the closest and then it would come around the back of it up like this and then here's your sphere okay and then if you were going to have an arcing line coming around the front it would go like this and then again it sweeps around the back and it goes like this okay so the front planes let me grab like a colored pen so you can see this you want this is the front this is cutting across the front and then this is coming down the back and this is coming across the back towards the front okay do one more because I love you all I want to make sure that you understand this and you're thinking of this all the time I'm gonna show you how to draw Hellboy today so for people that are that are waning just settle down <laughs> All right. I'm not supposed to laugh anymore, according to uh, Aqua Dios. He says I'm too goofy. I realize what it is. I'm doing Mitch Hedberg. I don't realize that I'm doing it, but I, I was listening back something today, and I I was always kind of wondering what the delivery was from, but it's it's Mitch Hedberg has this sort of stuttered delivery that he uses, and I think that's what I'm doing. I don't. It's not intentional though. But anyway, sorry. Here here's the front plane. Here's the All right. And then this sweeps around the back side of the sphere, comes forward. This would come up the back. But yeah, you just want to make sure that when you're drawing circles, that you're not thinking of it as some flat thing. Because even in a side view, Again, it's just so rare that you ever have a true side view. It's all—it's almost just an artistic thing, which isn't bad. But here, I'm going to tell you this really quick, too. I went through five full issues of Hellboy this morning. And there was only one front view of Hellboy. Now, I'm not saying there wasn't front views of other characters. But out of four and a half issues of Hellboy, there was no front views of Hellboy. There was two very, very small ones where the head was like this size and he had it lit quite a bit no detail on it though i mean it was like like it looked like that basically and um there was two that were like that and then he had one panel that was like a rectangle that had the eye and that was that was a, a front view but um other than that he never drew hellboy 
from a straight on shot and you would think that he would i was i was curious i just it was like i had a theory and i was like i wanted to see if he did it and there was only really uh one side view and it was again it was a juxtaposed side view i actually did it on the other sheet all right so let's get to this oh okay, so the so your your forms that you deal with though just to be clear up front that you really want to make sure of and and this was my favorite from the last video i i called it a sphere about 20 times it was so annoying when i watched it back i was like you got to be kidding me Anyway, this is a cylinder. Richie knows. He's just the, off his rocker that morning. But, you know, I showed an example here. I have it right here of, of optical illusions that happen in art. Like if you look at a, a cylinder um, from pretty much a dead on side view, it can actually read like a rectangle. But as soon as you start to turn it, you start to see the form. This perspective was off on this. I had seen that when I watched the thing back. It's it's I, I duck under the camera when I shoot these. And so what happens is sometimes my... Uh, line of sight is a little funky but anyway but yeah you want to make sure that you can um you know divide your shapes and understand like how things will sort of um you know it, it just really will benefit you to be able to do this. And I showed these. And again, I'll have a playlist link in the description below. There's only one video before this. Um, okay, so let's get to the stuff that I drew today. So again, I did I did this. I show you that if you remove it, you're doing shapes like this. You know, if the, if the sphere wasn't here, you're still doing almost like, it's like a bike tire coming at you kind of thing. You know, you want to be able to feel that form. And again, just to show you. The way that you want to see it is this is the front. This is the front. Okay? And so I'll kind of show you these in order. Um, and then, you know, you can play with like kind of this, the Saturn idea with the, the ring around Saturn. But again, the, the ring around Saturn is open. So the further it goes back, you're going to see less of the top plane. We're looking above this right now. That's why you're actually seeing like this. Now, if I turned it up and we're seeing the underneath it would look more like this okay that's from above looking down you're seeing the top the top plane this is from the bottom looking sorry my my lines kind of flew off um, let me draw that again because it reads it reads funky. It reads like you're reading you're seeing the back lip. Um, so we're underneath it, and, and that to me really feels like it's going back far. And then, to, like let's say, if you put a vanishing line here, okay, all these lines are gonna go to that spot. And that's your scene from underneath. So if it, if it had a lip, it would be like that. These will get closer and closer together as they get to the edges. And again, tighter as they get to the edges. Okay, so I, I revisited this just to show you this example of when you turn a cylinder, you get this. This is going to be very important for Hellboy in a, in a second, all right? So these, I start showing how it can get smaller and smaller. And then what I did is I actually sliced off a chunk. So if, if um, you know, you took this and you're going to isolate a piece. And Hellboy's horns aren't perfectly, they're not like a coin. Sorry, this is so sketchy. I'm going to, um, I'll do it with her. Again, we're seeing the top, so that if you remove that and then if I turned it sideways it would look like that okay so again just taking a piece of the cylinder off and creating this wedge cylinder okay but Hellboy's horns are taller so they actually sit like th like this this is shorter A dark line around that now. Get this brush pen. Okay. Like 
I show them here. It's kind of like a horseshoe. If you were looking at it sideways, it goes like that. But then as you turn it, you realize that it's has has form to it. Okay, so one way that you can turn form is to, and I, I showed in the in the first video that I did the other day. Um, a lot of times what I'll do is if I draw like um, like a circle shape is I'll, I'll think of it in really terms of uh, space instead of a flat thing. So again, it's, it's going back to this idea of So, what I did is I took my circle, put this around it, and then started to show that in space how it gets smaller. And what that is is this. And this is all stuff that you want to play with. So you can take any part of this video and create like a little exercise for yourself. Something fun that you can kind of like mess around with. And again, I would, I would really recommend filling your sketchbook with tons of stuff like this. Because when you have this down, down packed, you're going to be so solid. And you're going to really, really see form. So I'll peg my up. Shape in here, okay. And then if I if it got smaller, receding more into space, you know that shape might fit in here. So what I have is I have this, you know, kind of more a little bit more like that. So like front plane, back plane. Do one that's more straight up and down. Okay, and then you can also, and it's it's okay if you want to even do something along the lines of that. You see that you're drawing form in space. You know, and what's really interesting is wait till you have to start putting this on a cranium because a cranium isn't a cube. It is got different forms on it, and so what ends up happening is the stuff doesn't sit flush on it okay so I just want to show these so here's a uh, I don't know I guess a square in space where you're, you're seeing a little bit of the edges here you're seeing the front edge and then if you were gonna put your cylinder okay you see that how it sits in there similar to that and, and what it is is front this is the front this is the side going back okay now we're gonna get to Hellboy 14 minutes we're not doing too bad all right, so what I ended up doing with Hubboy first is I showed you your sphere, the eyeball, okay? The forehead plane sits over it. And also, he, Hubboy's eye is kind of more tear-shaped or almond-shaped. So just, I was trying to show basic forms. So you've got your sphere, you've got this rectangle, the circle cir circular eye but yeah it is a tear shape then this then I kind of put in the shape of his eye a little bit more and I, and I did all this stuff so fast it was so simple because I understand all this stuff 
again and then put it in the eye and you know if you want you can kind of have it at an angle and the socket sits under it and we went over the eye socket in the um the last video so you want to check out this part of the video because i talk about the sphere and covering it so right here you have the sphere of the eye which again is a sphere so it's it bulges out and the eyelid goes over it and it goes over it and because we're under this a little bit these lines are curving if we are below it I mean un when we're under it, it they curve up because if you look here that's this isn't the eye but you can imagine that if the eye was this this is going to be like this and then the other lid actually covers it like that okay but then if you're beneath it what happens is they curve down because now your your planes are like this you're above it looking down this is the top of a cube that the sphere sits in so any shape that's gonna sit on this is gonna follow the laws of that okay so the eye does the same thing and then a front view of the eye the lids Can, can pretty much go like that will work uh-huh you'll see well, how we get to this in a second um okay so I'm just double checking all this okay so Hellboy's head I drew the sphere all right kind of divide it in the middle like that then divide it in the middle this way so this is my sphere and, and I'm not saying that this is exactly going to get you the, the result that Mignola does, although I find that I can draw Hellboy pretty good. Um, and I've only, I've only really done two pieces of them, but both both I thought were successful attempts at it. And I, I try to keep it looking like Mignola's. I, I like the way that he draws it. So to me, that's, that's the actor that I go for. Um, but again, because this is a sphere, what ends up happening is the horns don't sit flat on a flat plane you know the side of the head isn't isn't just a piece of paper um, that's flat it it actually curves and so what I did is I did this drawing right here where you've got the sphere and it's still even though we're close to a side view on it it's got that going on I mean it really does his lines do that it's not straight across all right there would be times where if you were like just perfect perfect that it could maybe be straight across but but generally it's not Mike Mike uh, does curve the lines um, so what ends up happening is now all of a sudden you have to solve the problem of placing Hellboy's horns on top of his head okay so what I did is I turned the head a little more close forward so that you could get an idea of what's going on um, and so you know you've got basically like I, what are they called sweet tarts like like think of the candy sweet tarts if you've ever seen them or like maybe like a little breath mint like and again this is a simple version of the horn Mike kind of like he sort of does like almost like he squares them off a little bit now but for for this example we're just gonna say that they're round um, so the one will sit here but but again remember because you're you're putting it on a surface that curves they kind of sit at an interesting angle so if when you put the two this one is actually going away they actually I, I kind of show it here um, if you look at it from from straight on what ends up happening is it's like one point perspective so it's it's more like this they're they're coming at you like this and so you see just a little bit 
of the underneath, or well, I guess if it was, you want to have the finish point there. But still, remember these are forms. They're not just circles on top of his head. They actually sit on the cranium, and they're curved. So you want to have that sensation on them. So what I did is, here I show it. So that one is actually looking away from us. We don't see any of the front plane. We only see the side plane, and it's essentially sitting on top of his head like that. And then this one is a slice, it goes like this, sits on the head, but the head is curving. So wham, like that, and then comes in. So that sits like that on it. But in form, it's, it's like that, okay? You probably, most times Mike will draw a little bit of the underplane of this. So again, you see kind of a shape like this. And this is the bottom. Okay. Um, then I kind of gave this example and can see. And then the, um, the bridge of the brow. This is the foreground one. Okay, and if you remember on the drawing from the first video, like the, f the front view of the head, when you do the, the thing, it, the bridge, you have a little bit of a shape like that, like it goes down. And so what Mike does is he separates it here, but it's the same idea. This is this brow, like if, you, if, if, if just say for an, an, an instance that Hellboy had eyebrows, one would go there, but then another one would be coming in here. You know, that's the back brow. And then the nose. The distance between this stuff is, he, this is pretty long. So you have your kind of standard proportions here, like the ear in theory would probably sit here more. You can kind of play that. He's got a little bit of a pointy ear. Um, and then um, this would be usually divided in half, but, but it, it's a little bit longer. And then this jaw juts out a bit more. And um, then the teeth go back in at an angle. And again, this isn't a full-on like drawing Hellboy thing today because it's just too much, I think, for people to take in. Um, and again, I gave an example of how the horns sit on the head. You're going to need to problem solve this stuff first. And it's a, and, and then I showed the nose. Um, and I'll, I'm actually going to pull out a Hellboy comic here in a second. I'm going to show you some examples of, of exactly what we're talking about. I think that'll really bring it home. Um, but uh, yeah, so you know, if when you're when you're putting a nose on someone's you know, get your Your rectangle tip of the nose sits at a different angle comes like this this is going down okay and then the got the the brow again this this area will band like that so but yeah you want to make sure that you're feeling this this form okay so let's grab out a Hellboy comic and we're gonna look at this for a second show you some of these shapes okay so this is an upshot oh actually I can doodle sort of uh, thing for y'all. Alright, so I'm gonna do this really fast, but alright, so we got our sphere. We got this. Sometimes, um, just to be clear too, like like depending on what you watch these videos back on, 
stuff can sometimes get cropped but um uh sorry let me just concentrate for a sec Okay, and then remember the the mouth is a horseshoe. Okay, and then the bottom one is also. And I actually did an example of it. One of the things I did today. Where is it? Oh yeah 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 here. So when you look at Hellboy from fairly straight on view. This is kind of the structure of his head to some extent, very simplified, but but if you're looking from straight on and he opens his mouth, this is going to start to uh, go up and you want to make sure you're feeling this form and you can see he utilizes that there where it's like, because we're looking slightly above it, it goes like this and curves around and then this lower jaw because we're underneath it, the teeth are actually... We're not seeing the root of the teeth, we're just seeing the top, and then these teeth are actually sitting like that. You see that? Like, like this is the bridge of the mouth, and the teeth are sitting back maybe about a quarter of an inch into the thing, so that's why he moves that space back, and they sit inside the jaw. Um, and, uh, here's a somewhat of a front view, but you're seeing a little bit of the sides of this stuff. Um, nice solid planes he's got this the head because the head is tilting down the ears are moving up when you have when you're looking straight on the ears in theory sit right about here cuz how boys got pointy ears we're going to say that they are go a tiny bit above the eyes but in general it's about where they're going to sit and and you know look if you stylistically like them to look like they're in a different spot, and this would be like the bottom of his nose. Okay, and then um, if you turn your head and start to look down, I'm just going to turn the head a little to the side, but the ears will start to lift. They actually go up higher, but they're still connecting to the same spot. But because the sphere is starting to recede in space, things things start to change a bit. Again, I'm trying to get that feeling of this horn sits on this side of the sphere. This one sits on that side. Again, they're kind of like. They're sort of they're sort of going away from each other in a weird way, but the the circle is flat. But yeah, it, it's like that. And the other one is like this. Just a sense of it. It's not overblown. Again, when you see this, but believe it or not, when he puts these little like divots and stuff on the horns, he's he's actually suggesting that shape. They're not just random lines. And that's the problem is when you copy something like this and you only copy the surface and you go, oh, okay, like he puts three little marks on Hellboy's horn and you put them in. You know what? You'll you'll be right. There were three little marks on his horn, but because he feels the form, they're actually directing the eye and they actually are indicating form. And so if yours go straight like this you've immediately flattened out a three-dimensional image if you curve them just the tiniest bit then you're gonna suggest form do you see that flat dimension okay I'm gonna leave it right there I think I think I nailed down the importance of this and how much uh, you know you're really gonna want to experiment with it um, let's see we'll try to find another so Again, we're, we're looking at them from this side. The sphere curves here because it's sitting here. This one is going this direction. This one is facing towards us. Again, the same, the same thing that I just pointed out. It, it's like this one is going that way. This one is coming out towards us. They fork and then like, you know, 
like that. So anyway, and uh, we'll get into other stuff. But again, this is very, very important. And almost every comic book character that's in a costume, you're going to deal with problems like this. So you might as well really, really get comfortable with form. Because if you try to draw Batman or Robin or Wolverine and you're dealing with the hair or if he's in the costume and he's got horns on his head or a character that wears a helmet, this stuff is just so important. Or even a helmet with like things that come off of like the jaw area and stick out, you know. And you need to put him like a, like Loki that has the horns that come out. This is all stuff you're going to need to know really good. Okay, please smash the like. Check out my Patreon. Support me there with a tip. I have five uh, private videos. I've been doing now a new series of drawing videos that I'm starting just for Patreon. Um, and again, a dollar gets you access to all those videos. And there will be more and more coming. Okay, thank you. Bye.